Hey everybody, Pastor Ryan, the roving giant here. I'm uh, heading on a hike today, and I'm gonna go see if I can hike the first part of the Finger Lakes Trail here in at Letchworth Park. I'm gonna start at the top end, so I am, I'm right here at the very intro of the trail, and well, we're gonna see how it goes. It's a rainy day today, but hey, there's no such thing as bad weather, just different kind of good weather, right? Here we go. So I thought this was pretty cool. There's a cabin here that is, I'm about to figure out what it is. It looks like it's the sheriff's office um, for the patrol, but I don't know. It's always cool when you come across a cabin or something in the woods. It's just an interesting landmark, you know? this rain the uh, the old glasses they're they're not foggy at the moment but they keep getting foggy over and over again so I think I'm gonna ditch them and put them in my pocket hopefully I don't scratch them up too much but uh, I'd rather see the beauty of all this than look through foggy glasses you know what I'm saying uh, yeah well hop to it getting warm I had to uh, I had to ditch the rain pants they seem kind of pointless I'm getting sweaty and wet from the inside may as well get wet on the outside when it's actually clean water uh, probably gonna ditch the rain jacket too um, and then we'll continue down the path you can't really see it here very well I'm gonna try to show it but back there is the dam um, I came off trail a little bit to see if I could see a view here, but I can't, so I'm going to head back to the trail, and we'll be on our way. <sighs> i tell you what, I'm all re-undone, if you will, but it's crazy. It's mid-January. Uh, we had here, this is western New York, um, here, in, here at Letchworth Park, and we had, oh, a few solid weeks of single digits some going below zero some days staying below zero all day and the crazy thing is uh, we had this little like warm snap the past like two three days today it's in the 50s it's just crazy every all the snow's melted but there's a storm on the way and uh, it seems like today it's going to drop from about 53 degrees down to negative nine tomorrow night so, I mean, that's like, that's prime setup for a ice storm. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully things will be able to dry out enough so that it's not too bad. It's not too much of an ice storm. But, man, I keep my fingers crossed that we don't have too much damage around here. But, hey, it's a warm day today. I figure I'll just enjoy the trail, uh, chat with you guys. And you know, I wanted to start doing these videos 
because I, I go out here camping all the time. I go out hiking, I go out exploring and doing bushcraft and just getting out in nature. And I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to document it. See if people want to follow me along, people who can't necessarily go and uh, hike their way around. They wanted to come along with me on my on my adventures. Um, I just came to a trail junction, that's why I'm pausing. So we got this wildlife loop that goes that way or to the visitor's center and the dam that goes that way. And it looks like my yellow blazes for the Letchworth Park, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a tail Letchworth Park. Um, yeah, I'm totally blinking. It's just not coming to me. The, the segment for Letchworth Park of the Finger Lakes Trail. It's a branch, that's it. Branch, that's what I was looking for. Uh, the this Letchworth branch, I'm gonna keep following that. I'm hoping to follow it down. I've started at the very beginning of the branch and I'm gonna keep hiking it all the way down till, uh, I think I'm gonna go until I hit the first lean-to. Uh, you have to camp there with a permit and you ha you're not allowed to camp in a hammock. You're only allowed to camp in the lean-to, but hey, follow the rules. So I decided I'm gonna check it out and explore it as just a day trip instead of an overnighter. So, well, back to it. When I'm going along the trail and I come across some deadfall like this, if I have it, if I have the gear and I have the time, I try to stop and clear it out. So I'm gonna take out this cool saw that I just got, Boreal 21 saw from Agawa Canyon and try to clear it out. This one's not gonna go easy. May end up leaving this to the park rangers, but. Heard of crack, don't like crack. I gotta be careful. I threw my back out the other day. Don't want to throw it out more. That ought to help them out a little bit. Came across another down tree on the trail. I'm probably gonna leave this one just, this one's a lot bigger. Um, so I'm gonna leave it here and leave it for uh, the park crew to clean up. This is a state park, so it's there's a lot more funding in these than there are in like a state forest or something like that. But I, I was going by and I couldn't help but notice we got some real active deer around here. They're all over. Uh, we got deer scat, and there's a really 
looks like a really active game trail right here. Um, I'm just getting into hunting. I'm just learning my processes, learning how to uh, identify stuff. So it's always exciting when I get to see uh, a nice, clearly marked trail, if you know what I'm saying. Well, welcome to the Mount Morris Dam. We've made it here, which is actually not as far as, as I was hoping to be by now. I probably won't make it to the shelter today. I didn't realize how much longer it takes when you're trying to record yourself instead of just going on the hike, but it's pretty cool. There's some awesome uh, waterfalls coming down the side of the gorge. and I don't know. I think it's pretty darn cool, if you ask me. There's a lot of water in this thing. I'll come bring you over to the other side here. There you go. You can see the dam from here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, let's keep going. So according to some of the signs here, this is the, this is the trailhead to the Finger Lakes Trail Letchworth branch, but I've been hiking on it for a little while, so <laughs> this ain't the start. Um, well, trying to look here, it's kind of foggy, but I'm going to try to clear it up. Um, you see this where it says you are here, <laughs> up there. Um, I've hiked since the beginning over here at Sickles Ave, and I've worked my way up to here. Um, there's a shelter way down here. Uh, let's see here, where is it compared to you? Yeah, right about there. Um, there's a shelter there. I was hoping to make it to that, but it's not looking like that's going to happen. So I will probably just hike for a while, find a spot to stop, to stop for lunch, um, and then either turn around and hike back or keep going and call somebody for a ride. Uh, we'll see if anybody's around. If not, I'll just uh, turn around and hike back the way I came. But it's been fun so far. Let's keep going. So I'm stopping here. Beautiful view, absolutely gorgeous. But I couldn't help but notice uh, a fun little stump. Somebody had fun. I love it when people do this kind of stuff. It just makes the trail so much more interesting. So that was just really cool. I was just looking out that way out into the woods and saw about six white tailed deer just running off. You can see the tails running as they're going. Oh, I just love that stuff. When you see the animals and fortunately I was too loud making this video so I didn't get to see them before they saw me but hey one of these days, I'll see them first. <laughs> All right, I have a fun fact for you. Learned through experience. Do not touch vines that have those hairy bits on them. That is poison ivy. You don't need to just see leaves of three, but look for vines with hairy bits on them because that stuff will mess you up. I know from experience. <laughs> so, <laughs> just keep moving down the trail. So I came across a really cool spot here. It's like a peninsula over there and a whole bunch of foggy mist just hanging over the trail. It's just really, this is a beautiful trail. I'm really enjoying this. Um, it's got just some nice, nice ways to look and 
good views off to one side, but it's actually, it feels pretty wild, even though it's, it's really not, it's really close to civilization, but it, up at the beginning of the trail, it was kind of reminding me of the Adirondacks, just less hard. <laughs> And uh, this part of the trail is reminding me of Chimney Bluff State Park over in uh, Sodus Point. But man, it's just so cool. It's so cool to see all this. Uh, I'm so glad to have you along with me. I hope you're having fun because I sure as heck am. And I hope I'm not making you sick while you're trying to watch my video without me having any kind of camera stabilizer. <laughs> well, uh -oh. let's keep going then. Turns out there is a better view right here. I bet it'd be really cool to paddle down this part of it. I mean, the other part's pretty deadly, but this part would be pretty cool. And as I was working my way down the trail here, I found the Wegmans Passport Program stuff. So you're able to come and get your little stamp and uh, seems that the stamp is gone though so I don't know what we're gonna do about that um, but there's a little book in here which seems pretty cool uh, I don't know if it's a trail register or what I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll see what we can find here this is the book yeah Seems to be a kind of trail register. Huh. There was a pen, so I'm gonna to try to write something. We'll see what we, uh, see, see what I can do. I'm using only one hand. So I thought I'd show you a little, just what I wrote. Uh, last entry was back December 11th, but I'm gonna put this away before it gets soaked. You have got to check out this waterfall down here. Wow. It's just coming down. I've come to another trail spot. Um, so I started down here, hiked my way into here, and I believe I am about here now, which means I'm able to start this trail. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see if I can make it all the way to D before uh, I need to turn around, but it probably won't happen. I'm loving this though. No complaints here. Hope you can see this through the trees. It's just really cool to see all that fog working its way down right over the top of the river. That's just really cool. So I'm coming across this little spot. There's these little tributaries and uh, it goes down the hill. I'll try not to spin like that anymore. That's craziness. Um, but there's this little concrete structure here. But this is a really nice spot to stop for lunch for folks, but I'm gonna keep moving, see if I can cover a little bit more ground, but there's a trail register here and everything. All the action. Um, yeah, this trail is really nice, really calm, but I severely underestimated how much time it takes to shoot a video while you're hiking. 
Um, I just am not going as far as I was hoping to have gone. It's almost noon and I haven't even made it half the distance I thought I was going to make it by this point. Hey, mile 23, Finger Lakes Trail. But, hey, sometimes things don't go as you expect and you gotta just roll those punches, you know? If you can't enjoy it while it's going differently than you planned it to go, then you're gonna be pretty miserable most of your life. A word of wisdom for you there. So I was hiking along and I was wondering if somebody could help answer a question for me. What's the black stuff that's on these leaves? This is a, a beech tree. Um, it's got this like black sort of crazy funky fungus stuff. I don't know. I'm just curious. Anybody know what it is? Put a link in the comment section and you can let me and anybody else about 10 after 12. I probably should be back to my truck by about 4.30 at the latest because this big storm's coming in and the temperature is supposed to drop below freezing at that point. So I think the roads are going to get a little iffy around there. At least if the rain persists. Right now the rain's kind of letting up, but it's been on and off all morning. So I'm trying to decide when to stop and have myself some lunch. Um, I'm thinking I may stop sooner rather than later. Overall I'm probably about two-thirds of the way to the tree line shelter that I was hoping to get to. So I um, thought I've been stopping to take this video a lot. So I am, it's been just under three hours worth of hiking with all the stopping and videoing and everything to get this far. My body's feeling good, but I worry that if I push it too hard, I'm gonna hurt myself. So I'm probably gonna hike another 15, 20 minutes find a spot to stop and once I get there I'll probably just turn around. I was hoping to make it here because it's a good checkpoint for me to be able to uh, pick up this trail where I left off next time I come hiking because I really want to hike the whole section eventually. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Whew, the old feet got a little Got a little damp in there, kind of, yeah, right there. I stepped right in it. Um, but, hey, it's all part of the fun, isn't it? So I want to pick up the trail and uh, keep doing section after section so that I can eventually claim that I've hiked the entire Finger Lakes Trail, um, including all its branches. See, I'm remembering my words. Um, but if I can't, I can't. Safety is more important than accomplishment. So, we'll see then. Mile marker number 22. All right, we're moving. All right, so the rain has really started to come down and I have decided to call it. There's a big lake right in front of me. <laughs> and uh, I'm just, 
noting this trail marker because this is the spot that I got to come back to pick up the trail next time. So I'll probably either come through and redo this section that I just did, or I will um, start down at the shelter and make my way back here and turn around. We'll see what I decide. But my legs are starting to fade. I'm going to start heading back, uh, see if I can find a spot to put up my tarp and have some lunch. Uh, give myself some energy and make my way back to the truck. This has been fun. Uh, you probably won't see me record again until I stop. So we'll see you at lunch. Whew, this trail is getting moist. But hey, I think this is as good a spot as any to sit and enjoy some lunch. So I'm just going to kind of set up camp right here the edge of this little gully. Seems like a cool spot. tricky part with these stools. They tend to sink in if you're not at a regular camp spot. This is my down jacket. I don't want this getting wet, so I'm gonna put it inside my rain jacket. Oh, it's sitting over here. Here's lunch. So my lunch of champions today is ramen, corned beef, and energy bars. So I'm going to just clear out a little space here because I need to boil a bit of water for my ramen. And this is not an MSR pocket rocket, though it looks just like one. It's uh, kind of the Walmart knockoff brand, but it really works quite well. I've been impressed by it. It's served me well for the past probably uh, two years I've had it. Um, it does the job, no complaints, and it's definitely cheaper than the MSR. So go Walmart, you know what I'm saying? So I learned the trick with these is you cannot allow them to, uh, <laughs> you, you have to leave them perfectly level, otherwise it does all sorts of weird stuff that you don't want it to do. So I'm practicing my one-handed skills here. Trying to put this on. like that. All right, now I need to get water out of here. If I don't have enough for dinner or lunch, there's plenty over there. So I can always go down and get that, but I'm going to try to avoid that if I can. And don't mind my leg. I need two hands. That should be enough for two packets of ramen. I'll go a little more just in case. I'll finish it off and go get some more water after. So let's try this puppy out. Alright. 
So, all you gotta do is right here, you turn her on, and then over here, you light her up. Keep it going. Do the trick. You know, just put the top on, wait for her to start, start her uh, little boil. In the meantime, let's go get some water. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have a boil. Yes. Yes, indeed we do. Now, just going to take some ramen. You know what? I'm going to do this after. Alright. Oh, lost my packet. Need to get the flavor packet out of there. Uh oh. It just got dark here. Crazy dog. Look at this. The wind started blowing. We might have some interesting weather coming our way. It got foggy and windy. I hear rain, so I'm going to prepare for that. So I've layered up. The cold weather really seems to have started to come in. I think this front has officially started, but the rain hasn't kicked back in again, so I'm grateful for that. So I'm able to enjoy this wonderful bowl of ramen as I uh, sit here and just relax a little bit before the next section of my hike. Um, I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know how things are going. Um, I decided against eating my corned beef because I didn't want to really keep the fire going that much at least the stove. I didn't want to just cook it straight on it. We'll see. When I'm done with the ramen, if I'm still hungry and it's not raining, we'll, we, I may cook it. Otherwise, I'll just stick to the cliff bars uh, as I hike out. So, uh, I will check in with you again shortly. Alright, folks. So, the rain has started up yet again. Uh, let me just clear you off. That yeah, didn't help. Didn't help. Didn't help. <laughs> That did not make anything better. Um, let me try this. Ah, a little better. All right, so rain didn't let up. Rain has started back up again. And uh, it's about 1.20. I'm gonna hit the road, and hit the trail, I should say. And as we get going, I'm gonna take it easy because once things get wet like this, they can get dangerous. So I'm gonna try to take it slow, um, but I'm gonna keep moving. So I'm not gonna stop to film uh, for the rest of this, unless something very, very film-worthy shows up. So otherwise, I will see you back in the car. As I make my way down Mud Path here, this whole, whole trail is just underwater completely. Um, but, man, the wind has seriously picked up. Um, it's not blowing across me too crazy, but you can feel that it is. The tides are changing, if you know what I mean. But I'm going to stay on this trail and keep trucking. But I thought you guys would appreciate hearing about the wind because it is. It's coming through and the temperature is just plummeting, man. It was warm 
cozy. Everything was wet though. And now as soon as the temperature drops, man, you feel it. You feel it something serious. If I were out camping tonight, this would be actually kind of dangerous. I would need to get in my tent, change my clothes and get dry soon. Um, but since I'm going home today and I'm heading out to the car, it's not as big of an issue, but I still have to be careful and make sure I'm keeping my gloves on and such. So, um, well, that is what that is. I'll keep you posted. So, whew, I'm, uh, I'm not winded, but I'm feeling it, man. My legs are aching. Turns out... What I thought was going to be about a three and a half, maybe four miles out, ended up being closer to five and a half underwater. Um, <coughs> so, hey, you learn these things. Um, but I'm making phenomenal time. I got less than two miles left back to the truck. This has been an awesome, awesome hike. It's just been so cool going through the rain the wind but also being able to see the views and uh take my time doing this video it's been really fun doing the video i think i'm going to do this more often um i just need to plan more time for the video but either way lunch was tasty i ended up packing right up and not having my corned beef but i'll enjoy it on another trip uh, my arm is tired from holding this camera up though, so I'm going to put you down all the way until I get to the truck. So, we'll be seeing you guys in a bit. <sighs> hey everybody, made it back to the truck. This was a really awesome, awesome hike. Uh, I got soaked, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> drenched, um, but totally worth it. And uh, now I'm going to just head home, enjoy the afternoon, but get out there, get hiking spend time in the woods it's just a blast it's worth every second and uh, if you have any questions or anything you you want to shoot my way feel free to do so look forward to hearing from you guys um roving giant signing out